Most of us have had a neighbor that insisted on playing their music too loud, but police say one St. Petersburg man had enough. He's now accused of stabbing his neighbor and her adult son over loud music. Eight on your side, Chip Olsowski joins us now live from the Pinellas County Courthouse with what we're learning about the suspect, Chip. And good afternoon to you. 38-year-old Thomas Scaglione is facing two counts of attempted second-degree murder. He made his first appearance before a judge here at the county courthouse just a few hours ago. Mr. Thomas Scaglione. Appearing before a judge in a wheelchair, Thomas Scaglione told the court he could not afford his own attorney. The state requested that his bonds remain high. We have two victims here, uh, local staff loans. Uh, the female victim is in critical but stable condition, but the uh, male victim, to my knowledge, is still in uh, critical condition. The judge identified the victims as Tessa Ocasio and her adult son, Matthew Rivera. The stabbing happened at the Flagler Point apartment complex on 53rd Avenue South in St. Petersburg around noon yesterday. As we understand it, a gentleman named Thomas Gaglioni went over to his neighbor's apartment to complain about music. There was some altercation, and we understand that a 51-year-old woman and her 34-year-old son were stabbed. When I got here, it was like a crime scene. There was blood everywhere. Curvin's bow plan lives below Scaglione. He tells Aid on Your Side, this is normally a very quiet place. It's a quiet neighborhood. Like, I just moved out here. I moved for the because it's quiet. I didn't think that would happen. And a judge set Scaglione's bond at $300,000 despite the fact that he has no prior criminal history in Pinellas County. Coming up on News Channel 8 at 5.30, why that neighbor called police on Scaglione and why he calls Scaglione a ticking time bomb. Reporting live in Pinellas County, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.